What's up guys, my name is George, it's 2020 and it's time to talk about my everyday carry. Let's do an everyday carry pocket dump, but damn, it's cold outside. Let's get inside and do this thing. So the first thing we gotta talk about in my everyday carry is my phone. This is the Note 10 Plus. It retails right now for a thousand bucks. The battery life on this phone is excellent. I think this is the story of the phone, is the battery life. Because you can use this phone heavy usage, like watching movies and playing games all day long and still have battery left. Now, the phone is super thin and the cameras on this phone, it's actually got three cameras. It's got like a wide angle camera, a medium, and then like a macro camera so you can get like really close up pictures. It's got the S Pen, you know, if you wanna do some type of S Pen features. One thing about the X Pen, you can, you can write on the screen, like and take a note or whatever. And then you, it also is very helpful if you want to uh, screenshots, you know, exact screenshots on the screen and send them to somebody. One thing, one complaint I have about this phone, there's no headphone jack. And Samsung is really starting to piss me off with this no headphone jack business. You know, I have headphones that I wanna use with my phone, but I can't use them because for some idiot said, well, they don't need headphone jacks anymore. That's really my only complaint about this phone. Otherwise, it's great. The fingerprint reader is on, you know, it's in the screen itself. So you just put your thumb on it and there's the fingerprint reader. I keep my screen pretty clear, but yeah, man, the Note 10 Plus. So I got two options and they're both from OtterBox for protecting your phone. First, I have the OtterBox Symmetry and I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, this dude got a purple phone. I actually just like the color and I wanted something different, you know. I always get black cases for my phone. So I saw this, you know, purple indigo color and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a chance on it. This, the Symmetry case is super thin. You know, it doesn't add too much to the phone itself and it's just one piece right here, but the corners are protected and with like a squared off phone like this, you gotta protect the corners of the phone. So I really like that the work that OtterBox does is on their phone cases. They always seem really solid and you know, they've updated over time. I know those OtterBox back in the day were like huge, but this one is super slim. And then I have the commuter case too, which is like a hybrid case. So it's got the OtterBox logo on the back. Both of them have OtterBox on the back. This one's just a little bit bigger. Cutouts are great on the top of these, both of them. You know, the cutout, cutouts are awesome. So the, the commuter over here is a hybrid case. So it's got, actually has two pieces. So I actually use this one probably the most but it's a little bit bigger than the symmetry. So the symmetry is definitely a little thinner than this, um, the commuter case, but it offers a little bit more protection. So the knife that I've been running for the last couple of months is this K-Bar Dozier. This is the, the Dozier Hunter. So they make these knives in a couple of different sizes. The Hunter I think is the largest one. And I'm really liking this knife. It's a budget knife. It's 20 bucks. You really can't beat it. So if, you know, I have a habit of losing knives. So, you know, if I get a really expensive knife, most times I'm gonna have it for a couple months and then I'm gonna drop it somewhere and lose it. But I was contemplating between this knife and I was thinking I was wanting the Benchmade Bug Out. So I was really, I like the lightweight aspect of knives. So I like putting something in my pocket, doesn't weigh too much. So, you know, it just doesn't bulk up my pocket. This knife is really thin. It, you know, it's got a decent blade to it. The blade length on this is three inches and the handle length is four inches. So for my hands, I need like almost a full size kind of gripped knife, you know? I don't need anything too, too small for my regular, you know, EDC knife. So this fit the bill pretty good. 7.25 inches overall. Now the blade steel is a OS 8 steel and that's just an okay steel. So I've been touching this knife up pretty, pretty regularly if I'm putting it to work. And the handles themselves are made out of Zytel. So a lanyard hole on the back, pocket clip, which is pretty decent. It's got decent retention to it. So it holds in my pocket really well. Some jimping on the top, 
of the knife right here. And then you have a thumb stud, which is reversible. So you can move it from left to right. And also with the pocket clip, you can move it to left to right. This might ride in my pocket for a while. It's got great grip to it. I mean, it's a knife. It does everything I needed to do. I don't do anything too crazy, cut up boxes and stuff. So right now it's the K-Bar Dozier budget pick at 20 bucks. So let's go to the flashlight. So you guys might know for the longest time I had the Streamlight Micro Stream. So somebody was like, you need to upgrade your flashlight <laughs> in my last EDC video. So I started searching and searching and I found about I found out about Lumatop and they have a lot of different good EDC flashlights, but I ran into this one and I was like, oh, that's a dope budget pick for a flashlight. This is the Lumatop AA Tool 2.0 version. And man, for the size of this flashlight, it can do so much, you know? This thing can output 650 lumens on high. It's got dual batteries, so you can actually use a AA battery or a 14500 battery, so that actually ups the, the, the output a little bit. It's got five separate modes. It's IP68 rated with the pocket clip. It's got great gnarling all the way around this flashlight. It just looks good. Nice little uh, lanyard on the back. I'm gonna show you these modes real quick. So when I open it up or when I first turn it on, I, I started it off in low. So then you go from low to, the, to high to turbo. So low, let me do it again. Low, high, well that's medium. Medium, then high, then turbo. That's turbo. So if you click it six times, you know, half click it six times, it gives you a strobe option. Man, this light is damn awesome. It's enough for me to get, you know, it's got decent throw at night, and it's enough for me to get in my door, you know, check something out at night or whatever. But I like the fact that it's got the memory, the memory set it. So when you click it on, it goes back to the last one that you had it on. So right now I got it on low. That's enough for me to like open a lock at night you know, in the front door. And then if I need more, I just half click it in the back on the tap right here. And that gives me like the medium. And if I need more, the high. And I probably never will use the turbo mode unless I really need to, you know, get some throw out there. But, you know, the specs on this bat this uh, flashlight are awesome. So I definitely say check this out. I think it goes for like 25 bucks. 25 bucks, man, you gotta check that out. That's cheaper than a lot of flashlights out there. So the watch that I'm wearing right now is the Sunto Core. Now, this watch has been out for a couple of years now, and I know it's kind of an old watch at this point, 2020, but the functionality is still great. Now, when it first came out, it was $300, and George is not trying to pay $300 for this watch. It's come down over time, and now you can pick it up for like $113 on Amazon. I'm gonna leave links to all of this stuff down in the description below if you wanna check it out. Now, this watch is an ABC watch, and what that stands for is altimeter, barometer, and compass, so it can do all of those functions. And it does it okay. I wouldn't count on this as your main tool for you know going out in the woods or you're gonna do a you know a trekking adventure or something like that, but it's a great little backup. One thing that I use on this watch a lot is the storm alarm. So when the barometer drops and a storm is approaching, this watch will give you a little a tone to let you know that that barometer is dropping. So that means grab your jacket, grab your umbrella, very helpful feature. Now it's a kind of a large watch at 49 millimeters in the case. And I've done a little bit of modification with the watch. I actually changed out the lugs. So these are like a lug extension that I bought. I think I bought these on Etsy, but this guy makes them kind of like hand makes them, but they kind of meal right into the side of the watch like it was made that way. And what I, I did that so I could fix NATO straps onto this watch. So these NATO straps are super comfortable around your wrist. I really like the feeling of them. The watch itself, it can be hard to read sometimes if you kind of get the lighting wrong, but just the look of it is so damn dope and the functionality. So I'll kind of sacrifice where I got a 
tilt the watch in a certain direction so I can grab it. Now, they, this is a, in the um, negative version. So the black dial, you can also get this watch in a positive version, which is like the regular digital version. And it's a little bit easier to see, but either way, both, you know, both versions are pretty good. It's got a bezel on it. Use a movable bezel for those who are using, you know, um, doing land nav. So you can use that bezel. Got some nice glow to the um, bezel right there. Man, there's so many functions on this watch. World time, compass, barometer, like I said. Dope watch, love it a lot. All right, what would be an EDC without talking about the wallet? Yes, I got the George Costanza large wallet. Better without this big wallet. It's more comfortable. It doesn't matter if it's more comfortable, it's wrong. Why? <laughs> because important things go in a case. You got a skull for your brain, a plastic sleeve for your comb, and a wallet for your money. <laughs> An old slim wallet for me because I carry so much in my wallet. So this wallet is the perfect fit wallet. Right now it retails for 34 bucks. It's a black leather wallet. For those who know about perfect fit, it's a good wallet for what it does. So that's my wallet. I'm not gonna say too much about it. It's a black leather wallet. You know, what else can you say? It's black, it's leather, it's a wallet. It holds my IDs and everything else. We'll put it right there. So the next thing I wanna talk to you guys about in my everyday carry pocket dump is my keys. This is my truck key, Ram 1500 Laramie. Uh, little tag I got from the back of a seat, Morgan State University, my freshman year. Uh, house alarm and this is a little magnet that I use to attach my knife and that's the next thing I want to talk about this magnet right here is super tough the mag it's like a quick release so I put the knife on the other side of this magnet because there's certain buildings I go into or if I go into a courthouse they don't want you to carry a knife inside I can just pull this magnet apart and that way I can separate the knife from the rest of my keys. Those are some of the things on my keys. Now the next thing I said was gonna talk about my knife. This is the Spyderco Grasshopper. This thing is so damn awesome for its size. It's 33 bucks. The blade length on this thing is 2.31 inches and the overall length is five inches. You know, it's a super small knife, but like I said, overall size, five inches. Weighs practically nothing at 1.4 ounces. And for my big hands, I can actually get a decent grip on it. It's not lockable though. That's one thing I would have liked to saw on this knife is like a lock, a lock back. But for what it is right now, this is a great little knife. I could use this for a lot of different things. I had the Leatherman Squirt on my keychain for the longest time, but I didn't use all those tools. So I was like, I usually just use the blade. So I wanted a more usable blade. So this is what I came up with. This is made out of Scanvic 12CR27 steel, which is just, I, you know, steel, full flat grind on this blade. And it does have the spidey hole. So you can, but I don't think you can really spidey flick this thing. You gotta be pretty good. My hands are probably way too big to do it. But I just, it's like a two-handed type of option thing for me. But hole in the back so I can attach it to my keys. And it's really not that much bigger than a regular key, you know? So that truck fob is actually a lot bigger than the knife itself. So I found this to be a great option for my keychain because sometimes, let's, I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all. I don't carry, sometimes I leave this at home. The knife and the flashlight, that gets left at home. On a good day, I carry it with me, but sometimes I want to have those functionalities, those options with me, regardless if I put my knife and my flashlight in, in there. So my backup is this knife, the Spyderco Grasshopper, and then also I use the Nightcore 2. This is the Nightcore 2 V2. I've been a big fan of the Nightcore 2 since it came out. I had the 1.0 version, and as soon as it came out with the 2.0 version, I went ahead and copped it. So this is 55 lumens. It's got two modes to it, a low and a high. So that's perfect for me. 
enough for me to get inside the door, enough for me to light up or look under my vehicle, and it weighs practically nothing. I think it's point three, four ounces. It's USB rechargeable on the side right here. Um, and it's two inches. This kind of fits on my keychain, and you really forget about it until you actually knew, need it. The runtime is forever on this thing. So once you charge it on the max mode, it will run for an hour and a half. On the low mode, it will run for 48 hours. It's crazy, crazy. So that will run on the low mode for 48 hours on a full charge. So it's got a little key clip, um, key ring on the back. It does everything I need. With these two things, I can handle most, most of my EDC tasks. So I'm still a piece of paper and pen type of guy. So this right here is the Exceeds Rule Journal. This is five bucks, five dollars, five dollars. I like that. So. This is kind of some budget stuff. You know, I'm kind of a budget minded, you know, cost saving value items type of guy. And this thing is like the quintessential value item. This is a 3.5 3 by 5.5 ruled notebook and I use it all the time. I'm not gonna show you all my notes and stuff in here, but trust me, I use it. So it's got little dots on it. Great for taking it in a meeting I, I um, and you know, put it in your pocket. It's got a little pocket right here in the back where you can slide in maybe some business cards. You know, people give me business cards. I slide them in here until I find a place for them. It's got little markers so you could pick up right where you finished off writing. So got a little elastic cord that goes around it so you can kind of hold it down. So with this, I gotta have a pen. So this is the Pilot G2 and the .5. So my preferred pens, they last and last, and then when I they run out, I throw them away because I hate having pens that don't write. That's the only purpose for a pen is for them to write. I keep these on deck. I've definitely liked them. They're not too expensive. Budget, 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 you know, all kinds of budget here. But that's a pen. I don't think there's a need to be a whole bunch of explanation about a pen. Boom, it's in my EDC. So let me straighten it up so I can act like a real YouTuber right here. So this is my EDC guys, 2020 I am set. Thanks for watching George Define guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I know they say it on every video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you really loved it, go ahead and subscribe. It's totally free to subscribe. And if you leave a comment, I'll try to reply to you. I love talking about EDC gear and backpacks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.